So class, we're now we're done with the meaning of art description. Now we're, we're also done with the art anal analysis. And now we're on the third tool on how to do art criticism. And this is interpretation. Okay. So I would like to state again that analyzing your art is far different from describing your art and doing interpretation is also different from analyzing and describing your art. So basically, when we interpret our art, the artist, we usually focus on what the artist says in its art, in his artwork or her art, artwork, or artwork, okay, artwork. So when you do describing, some describing of that art to look into the meaning of the artwork through the mood, and the feeling and thoughts that are being embedded in the out in the subject matter. So there would be some uh, suggestions like, uh, what is the artist trying to say with its with his output? What is the trying What is the artist trying to say with his piece? Okay, so we come up with some assumptions. We come up with with things. Our personal meaning. It could be a personal meaning. Uh, our own meaning of that particular subject, and we try to come up with the meaning or our own interpretation of the subject matter away from the artist's interpretation. Then we combine our experience, our experiences in life, our imagination, our creative values, okay? And then we come up, and then we try to relate all of these things into that artwork we're in that we are trying to look at. Okay, so we also used our our moods, our our emotions, our our way of thinking. So we put them together in trying to come up with the meaning of the art. So if the artist has his own meaning about his own subject, then the viewers, okay, can also come up with his or her assumption about that particular art. And then in trying to come up with a better or more profound uh, interpretation of that particular art, then the viewer can come up with assumptions that could mix his or her exper personal experiences, his or her creative expressions and skills, and um, also his knowledge, uh, formal skills, can, can be mixed together to come up with his own interpretation. There are also several questions that can shape your interpretation. For example, what was the artist's statement in this work? So what is the artist trying to say with this particular art? Or what do you think this art means? They can also ask other viewers, what does it mean? Does it seem quiet? Does it seem happy? Does this painting seem powerful? Is the song powerful? Is the dance uh, powerful? Is the dance um, emotional? Things like this. So what does it mean to you when, when you come up or when you encounter that kind of question into yourself, trying to give meaning to that particular art, if you're trying to look into the meaning of the art personally, on a personal basis, then you are trying to come up with an art interpretation. So it's like, what feelings do you have when you look at this particular art? What do you think? What kind of thinking comes up or pops up into your mind when you look at this particular art? Are there any symbolic things in the art? Are there a, a thing that would uh, represent something in that particular art? Is, is there any sign of something in that particular art? Okay, is that art iconographic? Okay, so you can also ask all of these questions. What do you think that the arts chose to work in this manner? So is it like, uh, what did the artist also this question can frame up your interpretation what did the artist create why did the artist create this artwork okay so you don't forget all of these questions you try to 
to review them later on after I finish the, the lecture. And then you at least master all of these questions that can help you come up with your better description, better analysis, and better art interpretation. Okay, so you see, you we are we are slowly moving out of the box already. We're not our judgment is not focused on the on describing the art alone or looking to the physical attributes of the art alone. We're not just looking into the elements and principles that are that are manifested or shown or illustrated in the art alone. We're not trying to just look into the artist meaning of that particular subject alone. We're not just trying to come up with uh, with uh, the consolidation of how the how do the artist interpret his work and our assumptions as viewers how do we look into this kind of work. But we are now trying to think out of the box. We're making some assumptions related to our emotions, related to our way of thinking, related to our values and traits, related to our experiences, and and beyond what we can still think about. Okay, so it has something to do with um, personal personal experiences and a communal uh, experiences, or can also be a global experience. Okay? So the next one would be the judgment. The last stage or the last tool in trying to come up with your art, art analysis or art critiquing would be your judgment. 